Not Like Us. This is the last song by Kendrick. He did a double drop. Back to back. Kendrick Lamar. Back to back. Watch the hunter beat, ho, beat, bo, beat, rap, nigga, he a free throw, man down, call a Everland, to the pins, hold up, yell a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tito, what's up with these bony ass niggas trying to see Compton, the industry can hate me, fuck them all into mama, how many options you really got, I mean it's too many options, I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton, beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas Certified break man, I'm the one that up to score with him Walk him down the whole time, I know he got some hoe in him Pull on him, extra shit, bully the flow on him Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young You better not have a go to Kendrick. Kendrick. It's Kendrick okay. But Kendrick's never made like a dance song This is like some shit you can like Get on the dance floor and do like a two step to <laughs> This is like Snoop Dogg a groove Something like that mm -hmm. Shit, show him your um, baracha Show him, show him your, 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 your little dances and shit. Hit your dance, hit your dance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A black one. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love, <laughs> just make sure you hide your little sister from him. Yo. They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hand-me-downs. And party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case, why is he around? Certified lover boys, certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. God, fuck him up. Wah, wah, wah. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trying to let a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Drake dropped an album called Certified Lover Boy in 2021. He said, Certified Pedophile. You ain't no lover boy. You a freak nigga. You a nasty boy. You a pedophile. God dang. Shit. How old is Drake? 37. They not like us. 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 You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga? I think that open show will be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The audience not dumb. Shape the step or let's stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. Like us. They not like us. They not like us. You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga? I think that open show will be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird Niggas and earth bitches go. The audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there something? Be rest that's for bitching. You Malibu most wanted. Ain't no dog boy, you ball boy. Fish get rid of something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas are getting a wedgie. You flipped over your boxes. We're holding your fault. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Nigga better straight in they posture. Got famous on the big content. Might write this with a doctor. Tell the pop star, quit hiding. Fuck a caption, won't action. No accident, I'm hands on. He fuck around, get polished. Fucked on Wayne Girl, and he was in jail. That's Canavan. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. I'm glad D Rose came home. Y'all didn't deserve him either. From a lounger down to Central, nigga better not speak on Serena. And your homeboy needs subpoena. That predator moving flocks. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, all eyes on me, and I'ma send it up the pot. Ayy, put the wrong label on me, I'ma get him dropped. Ayy, he said sweet chin music i'm gonna get him stuck that's the the kick the, one that you be the doing. sweet chin music man sweet chin music he said r.i.p pop drake trying to talk shit about tupac how you gonna talk shit about tupac bro that's tupac <laughs> shit i see why you getting cooked Four, five, plus five, ay, devil is a lie, he is 69, God, ay, freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside, ay, roll their ass up like a fresh pack of time, ay, city is back up, it's a must, we outside, ay. They not like us, 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 they not like us. Once upon a time, all of us will send chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second, let me put y'all on game. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer. Fast forward, 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you, this the real nigga challenge. You call future when you didn't see the club. Like, little baby, help you get your lingo up. What, 21, get your first street cred. They up, bitch, you feel like you a slime in your head. Like, what, Rainbow said you can be from north side like two chains say you good buddy like hold on baby help you get your lingo up. hold on like 21 get your hold on your fast forward 20. Kendrick's on to something listen to everyone he just name dropped because these are all people who are cool with drake mm -hmm. he said drake went to atlanta 
little baby, he's from Atlanta. He said, little baby, help you get your your lingo up. 21 and future, they're like Atlanta too. Young Thug, he's Atlanta. All of them are from Atlanta. They're 24, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This the real nigga challenge. You call future when you didn't see the club. Like, little baby, help you get your lingo up. Like, 21, get your first street cred. They up, bitch, you feel like you a slime in your head. Like, what? Rainbow said you can be from north side. What? Like, Two chains say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you not a colleague. You a fucking colonizer. The family matter had the truth for the matter. He was God's plan to show y'all the liar. <laughs> Damn. Because now I'm really thinking about it. All six of them are from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And Drake is cool with all of them. Well, he was, because one, Future said, fuck you. He said, Future got you in the clubs. 21's a street nigga. He gave you that street cred. Lil Baby gave you that lingo so you could talk like you were from Atlanta. Young Thug, the slob shit, you know, he, he just runs Atlanta. Like, that's, that's Young Thug. He get, he brought you around all that. Quavo, put you, you got down with Quavo. That's like a gang base, like his gang or whatever. And then 2 Chains. I forgot what he said about him, but he he put him with him. I'm like, damn. Now I think about it, Drake really was like being a groupie, hopping from each like each one of them mm -hmm. being a groupie. And he's like, you're a colonizer. <laughs> you literally came to Atlanta and tried to colonize it <laughs> with successful like black rappers and shit. Like you really came to Atlanta, and he's from Canada. He's not even from America. <laughs> he's literally a col, and he's part white. Know, he's literally okay. a colonizer. <laughs> damn. <laughs> And remember, Drake was saying you're always rapping about trying to black stuff and like you try to free the slaves. He's like, let me put you on game. So you talk about me, you talk about political rap. You're still a colonizer. That's some colonizer shit to say. <laughs> he literally brought it all full circle off of something Drake said. <laughs> And it's just still cranks. It's like I'm bobbing my head to it. No, he doesn't. He a fan, he a fan. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Let me say O V ho. O V ho. Say O V ho. Drake's label to OVO <laughs> and he turned it to a chant <laughs> saying OVO so you know if you go to the club oh, and they play this song everyone is going to be shouting OVO OVO that is <laughs> he messed says step up. to the side OVO step to the side OVO <laughs> that label's not gonna be the same <laughs> yo nah I'm not gonna lie Kendrick won this shit and that was back to back mm -hmm. so let's go over the stats y'all Drake like that and push-ups goes to Drake. Next, you have Taylor made freestyle and Euphoria. That goes to Kendrick. Then you have uh which one was it? Then you have six and sixteen versus family matter, that goes to Drake. But then you have Meet the Grams versus Barry. I mean Meet the Grams and Not Like Us. So honestly, Drake has those two. Kendrick has three. He hasn't even responded. Drake literally has not responded since Family Matters. Kendrick decided to make Meet the Grands where he was spitting some real shit at his whole family and Drake and then made a crank dance type song right after. So now it's two to three. Kendrick's up. I really don't see how Drake is coming back unless the reason why he's been quiet for the past 24 hours is because he's in the studio trying to cook up some really crazy shit. But I don't even know how he could. He said Kendrick beats his wife and he likes white girls other than that i'm like you put money in, out there to figure some stuff out and you couldn't even do it drake kendrick has all the information in the world and that's why he's allowed to able to keep dropping diss tracks you're not dropping diss tracks because you don't have anything else to say you said everything you could say and you even said that top dog you do kendrick does whatever top dog wants him to do kendrick told you that shit was a lie you're paying money for the wrong information. 
which means you really have nothing else to say. So yeah, Kendrick won this. We don't know that yet. It's two and three. If Drake can come back with something crazy, he's gonna have to at least make two songs because you're gonna have to even it out to become three and three and then make another crazier song to become four and three. The fact that we got like seven crazy diss tracks in the past month, in the past week really, yeah. is insane to me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Greedy, what do you have to say about all this? The rap politics. What you got to say about this? It's very personal. I'll be like J. Cole. I'll stay out of it. Now you born. I'll be like Kendrick. I'll be like, oh, be ho, oh, be ho. You just like oh, drum. I do like drum. But Joe, J. Cole, you're a respectable man. I don't blame you at all. I will start listening to your music again. Wait, and you stop listening to your music? Every time his music comes on, I would say skip. Why? Because he pissed me off. You're late. Mm -hmm. You're late. Like, comment, and subscribe. Kendrick Lamar was on top. Drake has returned with a new diss track, The Heart Part 6. Last night, my bros sent me the song in the group chat. I'm up here thinking it's Kendrick because, you know, he has part one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm thinking, all right, Kendrick dropped a new song. That's tough. Hold uh, on. Test, 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 test. Uh, uh. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. All right. Uh. YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Drake dropped a new diss track, The Heart Part 6. Last night, my bros sent me the song in the group chat. I'm up here thinking that you know it's the I'm up here thinking that it's Kendrick because you know we got this the heart part one two three four and five so I'm like okay part six and he's cooking Drake with it I thought it was a little weird because I'm like Kendrick's heart series is never like a diss track type thing it's like his own little like that's just his own like projects unrelated to things like just what he wants to rap about so then when I saw nah this is the heart part six by Drake a Kendrick Lamar diss track that's when I was like oh Oh, okay then. So let's see what, what Drake has to say in the heart part six. I'm not even about to talk y'all heads off. I want to get straight to this. I want to see what's about to, what's about to be said. So let's get it, man. All right. Let's get it. I don't think it's going to be a Kendrick type beat. I don't think so. It's going to be some Drake shit. Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 tape would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you're getting your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war. Montreal's most wanted. I'm not gonna lie. Kendrick says a lot of, like, Kendrick's winning. Like, yeah, Drake has two good songs. Kendrick has three good songs. But Kendrick is winning. Like, it's miles ahead. Like, when I really started thinking about it, like, Kendrick has Drake, like, down bad. People are in clubs cranking OV, ho, OV, ho, step this way, step that way, step, uh, OV. Like, that's crazy. The stuff that he said, making a whole district to his family, crazy. The stuff that he was exposing, like, he was just being disrespectful. Like, it's bad. It's really bad. Like, Drake has doesn't... I don't think Drake has much he can say. And Drake's saying that Kendrick is getting his connects and they're clowns and they're liars. And he, that Drake's not... But Kendrick's saying he's a rat. And Drake is known to be a liar. Drake is known for fabricating stuff. Drake has his comments turned off on Instagram. Kendrick has everything just out there and exposed. Drake's the one saying, getting his comments flooded with um, whatever he does have is everyone just clowning him. So I'm like, I think Drake is kind of losing it right now. So now we're just going to say anything to save face at this point. That's what I think. But Kendrick won this. The battle's over. Kendrick won. General season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a weekend and we fed you the information. 
A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. You got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication. The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bit on a speculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga, I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug? So he's saying that his daughter isn't really... He said that they just fed him fake information. And instead of Kendrick fact-checking, he just got excited and ran with it. And the fans were just slicing it. So does Drake not have a child? Because Kendrick said, yeah, we all know about Adonis. He said uh, there was a new girl. He said, we gave you all a fake name. And Kendrick said, there's probably a whole bunch of other girls. And when you think about it, Drake probably has, has, has hundreds of bodies. Slept with hundreds of women. Yeah, he wears condoms. Yeah, he makes sure that this happens, that happens. But I'm sure he has gone raw on a few girls and something could have just happened. Shit, look at Adonis. So I'm like, I feel like Drake might have definitely had some child scares, children scares. And he might have some more kids out there that we just don't know about. I would not be surprised. I really would not be. Up in that excavation, and why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving hard emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you'd rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I. Mother I, mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. It's when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with. It's so excessive. They're acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never know an affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage. But now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested. But that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never healed and how they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeding resentment. Not sh okay. So, one, Drake said that Kendrick made a song Kendrick probably did make a song on this because Kendrick's pretty open about a lot of his stuff I just don't be paying too much attention to the interviews but Drake said that Kendrick admitted that he made said that he got it molested on an album okay or on a song okay so that happened and Drake's like all right well that's why you're so invested in this pedophile rap it's because it's like psychological trauma that you that's unhealed with you and this and that he's saying that Whitney his girl isn't denying any of the the, the the domestic violence okay so i mean if you did get molested and then you are from a, a cycle of trauma making songs about stuff like you admit it to stuff gets dramatic and traumatizing and violence is everywhere and then we even heard in the uh we cry together song maybe him and his girl did have some issues but my thing is drake said something important he said i'm too famous that if I was up here sleeping with underage girls it would have been exposed and i was thinking the same thing with kendrick so i'm like he's too famous that if he was beating on women it would have been exposed so i'm like how is it that neither one of these these are big allegations for both sides but no one's ever exposed either side and then the only time that they got exposed by two rappers in a in a rap beef so i'm like how did this all slip under the rug? Like, how did no one ever notice this? That's what I'm kind of always was confused about. How to ease the sentiment, the shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents. But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you left D flat, D major. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross air like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Now, I 
ain't gonna lie, Millie Bobby Brown, that was definitely a thing that came up in a lot of people's speculations. Cause I remember, there's a lot of people walking around right now. But I remember Drake was definitely looking at Millie Bobby Brown or in her DMs or something like that. And we were all confused because she was like 17, but nothing ever became of that. So we kind of all left it alone. And I think that was the last time we heard of it. But that's the thing. I don't think Drake would be around a bunch of underage girls because we all know he'd be with like the model women who are all like 21 and this and that. Maybe he is with an 18 year old, maybe. But I'm like, Drake seems like he likes to go on for bad bitches. I'm like, if you're 17, you're not a bad bitch. You're a child. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyone could be lying. Anyone could be telling you fucking though. with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Go ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping on Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music and your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon. I wonder you turn to clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. I promise. Now that, that was actually a good one. He said, Whitney, if you need a favor, hit me back and I promise you're going to be a lot safer because he's a woman beater and I'm going to, you know, hit you back with my light skin shit. Okay, that's a bar. That's a bar. Out of the whole song, that's my favorite bar. He said, Whitney, if you need a favor, I'm going to hit you back and I promise it's going to be a lot safer. That's a bar. I'm not going to lie. That's a bar. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. This shit was some, some good exercise. Like... It's good to get out, get the pen working. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though. Like, you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if he wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game. Like, you know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Okay, with that one, he basically was saying that the Meet the Grams was just a whole fake story, some bullshit that he just finessed you into making. Okay, that's what he's saying. He's saying, like, the daughter thing doesn't exist. Like, he doesn't have a daughter. That's what he's saying. That the like, Meet the Grams was some bullshit. He said that um, the next song, what's it called? Not Like Us. That one's some cool shit that he could dance to and bop to. He hit his two little two-step dance and did he bop with, you know what I'm saying? But since he was doubling down about the pedophile shit, he was like, ah, I don't even want to listen to that. And that's what I was saying. I was like, low-key, that's definitely a club banger. That's a song you could really, like, crank and listen to. But the pedophile thing, even though, like, all some diss track shit, if it's true, then cool. But, like, the song, like, that would have been a hit. But since you're talking about a pedophile, that kind of, like, I don't think it's going to be as played as it could be like that's literally a song that you could just play the radio the club anywhere but since you're talking about pedophiles that kind of diminishes the song a little not diminish it but it takes it away from being as family friendly as it could have been so it's not gonna have to be played as far, much as it could be but i still love that song i'm gonna hit my two-step in a minute but this one was pretty much just drake saying yeah clowning and kendrick for getting molested and then Drake pretty much just said everything else you said was a lie and I fed you some bullshit and you fell for it and that everything he's saying is facts and Kendrick is lying. Kendrick's saying Drake is lying, but Drake's saying Kendrick's lying. Honestly, I really like Euphoria. So, I don't know. I just don't know. They both got some good songs, though. Because I'll do the rundown again. Like that, push-up goes to push-up. 
Um, um, Taylor made freestyle Euphoria goes to Euphoria. Um, Family Matters versus Meet the Grams. I could really go either way. In terms of a song, it goes to Family Matters. But no, 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 not Family Matters. No, it was uh, 16 and 16, 6 and 16 in LA. It goes to Family Matters. Okay. Then it was Family Matters slash um, the other song, um, Not Like Us, which definitely goes to Kendrick. And then. It was also versus this one right here, which is the heart part six. But honestly, Kendrick is still up with that. It's it's like four. It's four and six. Cause this song is no, it's three and three and four, three and two, three and no four. Nah, nah, it's three. It's three. It's three. Kendrick, this song was cool. Drake, this song was cool, but it didn't really say anything too crazy or stand out. He pretty much was just defending himself at this point. All he did really did was clown him for the molester thing. And the rest was just him defending himself. So, Kendrick's still in the lead in terms of songs and disses. I don't know what to believe. I might have to hop in the stew myself. Call up J. Cole. We can make a diss on both of them. Everybody. Let's get it. And I still don't know what the beef is with Drake and Lil Wayne because I thought they was cool. They were cool, but hey, whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Grady isn't here today, but I'm about to go make another video with her, so it's all good. See y'all in the next one.